Welcome to Auto India Quick News. On this week's episode, we'll talk about the upcoming and all new Maruti Suzuki Swift, the five door gold car, the anniversary edition Hayabusa, and more. But before all that, do remember to subscribe to the Auto India channel and make sure that you hit the bell icon so you never miss an update of more such exciting content. Let's begin with a model we are all waiting for the next generation Maruti Suzuki Swift. Maruti Suzuki will launch the new Swift in India next month. The latest Swift sports familiar styling. But sources tell us that the model for India will get certain styling tweaks. For instance, the front and rear bumpers will be slightly restyled, and the wheels will also be different to the version sold abroad. Inside, the new Swift will carry a layered dash, similar to what we see on the Beleno and the Fronks. Space and comfort promises to see a marginal improvement, though overall dimensions are similar to the outgoing Swift. Features wise, top spec versions will pack in LED headlights and taillights, 16 inch alloy wheels, automatic climate control. A freestanding 9 inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and more. On the safety front, expect six airbags, ABS with EBD, and ESP to be standard, along with three point seat belts for all passengers. A major upgrade will come under the bonnet. In place of the K Series 1.2 litre 4 cylinder petrol power plant, will come the new Z Series 1.2 litre 3 cylinder engine. Peak power and torque are likely to be in the vicinity of the current K12 units 90 horsepower and 113 Nm of torque. Expect the engine to be offered with 5-speed manual and AMD gearbox options. The new Swift would be followed by the new generation Desire in the coming months. Stay tuned for all the details. Mahindra's updated XUV300 will debut as the XUV3XO on April 29. The latest teaser revealed over the week shows inclusion of connected car tech that would, among other features, allow users to remotely operate the vehicle's climate control system. Owners will also be able to remotely access vehicle information. Teasers revealed in the past suggest completely redone styling as well as more features. Headlining the features list will be a panoramic sunroof, which will be a first in the compact SUV segment. Mahindra has not announced any details as yet, but we expect the XUV 3XO to be offered with the same engines as offered with the outgoing XUV 300. We'll have all the news on the XUV 3XO on the 28th, so stay tuned to Autoka India. We're just days away from the launch of the five-door four school car and we've learned that the model will be available with three seating configurations. A two-row five-seater, a three-row six-seater with captain's chairs for all seats, and a three-row seven-seater with a bench for the middle row and captain's chairs for the first and third row. Access to the third row will be from the rear doors. Force Motor's latest teaser reveals diesel instruments as well as shift on the fly four-wheel drive knob in place of the 4x4 lever seen on the three-door cool car. The 5-door Gurkha will continue to use a pull-type front and rear diff lock levers though. Like the standard 3-door Gurkha, the 5-door model will be powered by the Mercedes-derived 2.6-liter diesel made it to a 5-speed manual transmission. We'll be driving the Gurkha 5-door in the coming days, so stay tuned for all the details. Toyota has widened the Innova Hi-Cross range by adding a new variant for the petrol version of the MPV. The Toyota Innova Hi-Cross petrol is now available on a higher spec GXO variant and Toyota has priced the variant between 20.99 lakhs for the 8-seat version and 21.13 lakhs for the 7-seater configuration. The Hi-Cross GXO is priced 1 lakh rupees higher than the GX variant, and for the premium, Toyota has added LED fog lights, front parking sensors, a 360-degree camera, and a rear defogger. The interior gets a chestnut theme, soft-touch materials for the dash and doors, and new fabric seat covers. Additionally, comfort features like automatic climate control, a 10.1-inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay have also been added. Oddly, the Hi-Cross GXO 8-seater, however, misses out on the 10.1-inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay, and a retractable rear sunshade. The same 174-horsepower, 205Nm, 2-liter petrol engine is on offer, paired with just a CVT automatic gearbox. Toyota says the Hi-Cross has a fuel efficiency of 16.13 km per litre. Toyota hasn't made any changes to the price of Innova Hi-Cross Strong Hybrid that remains on sale in the higher spec BX, BXO, ZX, and ZXO trims. Hyundai has launched the Grand Titan Neo's corporate variant and has priced it from 6.93 lakhs to 7.58 lakh rupees ex show. The new Neo's corporate variant is available in both manual and automatic form with the same 83 horsepower 1.2 liter petrol engine. When compared to the Neo's Magna, this new variant adds features such as dual tone covers for the 15 inch wheels, a new Amazon grey exterior finish, a corporate emblem on the tailgate, and a 6.75 inch touchscreen infotainment. However, compared to the sports executive, it misses out on features such as a rear camera, a rear defogger, projector headlamps, alloy wheels, an 8 inch touchscreen, and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Mahindra has launched the Bolero Neo Plus in India. 
The Neo Plus is a longer version of the Bolero Neo compact SUV, with the added length enhancing seating capacity to 9 passengers. Prices for the new SUV starts from 11.39 lakhs for the entry-level P4 trim, going up to 12.49 lakhs for the top-spec P10 trim. Visually, the Bolero Neo Plus looks very similar to the Bolero Neo, however, the slightly restyled front bumpers with the revised fog lamp housing and a bull bar like design element and a new set of 16-inch alloy wheels does add a touch of freshness to its design. The most significant difference comes in their sizes. The Bolero Neo Plus measures 405mm longer than the Bolero Neo, although the wheelbase remains unchanged. The longer rear overhang has allowed the incorporation of two side-facing seats offering seating for up to four passengers in the rearmost section of the cabin. On the inside, the dashboard has been carried forward unchanged from the Bolero Neo and features a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system and a revised instrument cluster. Other features of note include Bluetooth, USB and AUX connectivity, electrically adjustable wing mirrors, a height adjustable driver's seat, six-speaker sound system, front and rear power windows, manual AC and front seat armrests. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto have been given a miss. Safety features include dual airbags, ABS, EBD, and Isofix mounts. Under the hood, the Bolero Neo Plus gets a familiar 2.2-liter M-Hawk diesel engine from the Scorpio range, but it produces 120 horsepower and 280 Nm. The power is sent to the rear wheels via a 6-speed manual gearbox. It's underpinned by the same ladder frame chassis as the Bolero Neo, but misses out on the mechanical locking differentials that's available on the standard Neo. Over on the world of two-wheelers, Ola Electric has slashed prices for the S1X lineup. The starting price of the electric scooter is now 10,000 rupees more affordable than before. The base S1X 2 kWh variant is now priced at 69,999 rupees, down from the earlier 79,999 rupees. The S1X 3 kWh variant is priced 5,000 rupees cheaper than before at 84,999 rupees. Even the range topping S1X 4 kWh variant has seen a price reduction and now commands a price of 99,999 rupees compared to the early asking price of 1.1 lakh rupees. Deliveries for the S1X lineup will begin next week onwards. All of these electric scooters come with an 8-year warranty as standard. Meanwhile, prices for the rest of the Ola range that includes the S1X Plus, S1 Air and the S1 Pro remain unchanged. Yamaha has launched the Aerox version X that features keyless ignition and 1.51 lakh rupees X showroom. On the version X, the key slot has been replaced by a knob which can be turned to the requisite position depending on whether the scooter is being turned on or off. With the press of a button on the key fob, the Aerox X flashes the scooter's indicators and emit a chirping sound, making it easier for users to locate. There are dedicated buttons next to the key slot to open the fuel cap or if you need access to the underseat storage area. The Aerox version X costs 3000 rupees more than the regular scooter and can be had in only silver or racing blue paint schemes. Otherwise, the Aerox version S remains mechanically identical to the base Aerox. Aprilia has launched a Touareg 660 in India with prices ranging between 18.85 lakh rupees to 19.16 lakh rupees ex showroom. Aprilia's adventure bike comes powered by the same liquid cooled 659cc 270 crank parallel twin as the RS and the Tono 660, but in this configuration, it is rated for 80 horsepower at 9250 rpm and 70 Nm at 6500 rpm. With its 18 litre tank fully brimmed, the Touareg tips the scale at 204 kilograms. However, with a seat height that stands at 860 mm, shorter riders could struggle to handle it. The Aprilia ADV is suspended by a KYB supplied USD fork and monoshock, both of which offer full adjustability. With 240 mm of wheel travel available at both ends, the Touareg should be quite capable off road. Braking duties are handled by twin 300 mm disc brakes up front and a single 260 mm unit at the rear. As is typical of an off-road biased ADV, the Touareg has a 21-18-inch Y-spoke wheel setup and it runs on tubeless Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires. Like with all Aprilia bikes, the Touareg also comes with a comprehensive raft of electronic rider aids that includes multiple levels of traction control, engine braking, boost control, full riding modes and switchable dual-channel ABS. The Touareg 660 in Atreides Black and Canyon Sand color waves costs 18.85 lakh rupees while the Dakar podium livery costs 19.16 lakh rupees. Sticking with Aprilia, the Italian brand has updated the Tuono 660, RS660 and the RS V4. The Tuono is now priced at 17.44 lakh rupees and is available in two colors, Torque Red and Rush Grey. The RS660 is available in three colors, Racing Black, Acid Gold or Tribute and costs 17.74 lakh rupees. The range-topping RS V4 factory is priced at 31.26 lakh rupees and is available in only one paint scheme, Ultra Gold. 
The 660 twins have become roughly 4 lakh rupees more expensive than they were before, while the RS V4 factory cost nearly 6 lakh rupees more than it did previously. Customers interested in buying any of these bikes would need to place a special order at an authorized Motoplex dealership and the pricings for these bikes will be determined at the time of placing the order. Since all these bikes are imported straight from Italy, those interested in buying will have to pay 50% of the asking price as booking deposit. We're told that waiting periods are roughly 3 months, although it's very likely it could extend more than that. Suzuki has introduced a special edition version of the Hayabusa in India, marking the legendary motorcycle's 25th anniversary. The anniversary edition Hayabusa has made it to our shows 9 months after its global debut and commands a price of 17.7 lakh rupees ex showroom. The special edition motorcycle features an orange and black dual tone paint scheme and gets gold anodized finish on the drive chain adjuster rotor and the internal parts of the front disc brake. A unique 25th anniversary logo is etched on the muffler while there's a new 3D Suzuki emblem on the tank. The celebratory edition is available with a single seat cowling as standard. The 25th anniversary edition Hayabusa is powered by the same 1340cc inline 4 fuel injected liquid cooled DOHC engine that belts out 190 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque. The engine is made it to a 6 speed transmission with a bi directional quick shifter. And with that, we conclude this week's news. Thank you all for joining and see you all next week.